Hello, I'm David Watkinson, PLM for NSP's PCE. 5G is a game changer. It promises higher performance, lower latency, and more flexibility to provide new on-demand services that meet strict quality of service requirements. But delivering on these promises will create unprecedented challenges for your network operations. Our network services platform, NSP, helps you answer the many challenges that 5G brings to the table for IP, optical, and microwave networks to ensure maximum service performance, reliability, and security. With NSP, you can simplify your operations, respond to fast-changing demands, and get the most from your network. The network services platform fulfills these needs. In the middle of this chart, the open programmable platform is the engine of NSP, and surrounding it, there are a number of applications that enable operations to achieve tasks um, related to network management, orchestration, and control. On the south, NSP connects to the network. The network is multi-vendor, multi-domain, multi-layer, with IP, optical, microwave, and data center networks. NSP enables to program these networks to define the necessary network services. On the north, NSP connects to a services orchestration layer where operators can develop their own apps and they can, um, they can access all of NSP's capabilities. NSP provides a level of abstraction to the upper layer. It helps the complexity of the network to the orchestration layer so, can, so that the orchestration layer can focus on what is expected from the network and NSP takes care of the implementation. In other words, NSP makes the network consumable. We see three different types of needs from our customers. Those who want a turnkey solution that will help them manage and control their network with minimum effort. It's like being uh, looking for a new, brand new car. Two, there are those who just want some efficient tools to optimize the traffic in their network to improve their customer experience or run their network hotter. It's like sitting in the driver's seat, using ways to get real-time info on traffic and holding the steering wheel to take the uh, fastest route. And finally, there are those who have a car but want a more powerful engine to integrate into their car. It's for the tinkerers. This presentation focuses on the drivers. In principle, segment routing can be deployed without controllers. Routers generally support a certain level of path control using CSPF, which can be extended with FlexAlgo to support things like latency-based optimization. FlexAlgo is a useful tool, but without additional controller support, it is fairly limited. You cannot base any decisions based on actual utilization, and you cannot do traffic engineering across multiple domains. A controller provides visibility into the network topology and LSPs that is difficult to achieve uh, through CLI. It continuously optimizes path placement to achieve an optimal network utilization. And it reroutes traffic in preparation for maintenance events. Bringing a controller into the network is a gradual process built on trust. You can start with visualizing paths by enabling PSEP reporting to get a view on how your network behaves today. You'll see on a network map what your network is doing right now. You can build on that by using the simulator to perform what-if scenarios, simulating failures or new additions to your network to see the impact on existing LSPs. A worst-case failure scenario allows you to see the weak spots in your network which will bring the most amount of LSPs down if a failure occurs. You can also anticipate when capacity increases impact your network by simulating the increase of bandwidth on some or all of your LSPs. You can now start enabling path optimization on some or all of your LSPs to deliver capabilities not possible on a router, including things like multi-domain, traffic engineered ECMP LSPs, and balancing traffic across your network. A PC doesn't stand alone. It should interact with other components to provide superior capabilities. 
The following slides are just a few examples of some of these interactions. Integration with optics will allow importing of SRLG values to avoid placing LSPs on IGP links that use the same fiber bundles in the optical network. In this network, there are three IGP links between the upper left and upper right um, rudders. LSP link diversity um, can only be achieved by using the green and blue IGP links. The red IGP link should not be used due to the shared SRLG2 in the top middle of the figure. Controlling the use of LSPs when creating new services is also critical in the 5G era. Building service intents with specific transport objectives and encoding them into templates will allow your LSPs to be created um, that meet these SLA objectives. Examining how services are deployed in the network through top-down navigation is critical to understanding how SLA violations are occurring. Similarly, maintenance operations on a physical link will demand an understanding of the LSPs and services that would be impacted through a bottom-up navigation. Gain a deeper understanding of your network and make troubleshooting easy. NSP is also capable of reacting to changes in your network in advance of SLA violations to perform LSP reroutes to alleviate congestion or re to, to reduce the latency of latency sensitive traffic. The Bell Labs STAR algorithm will distribute traffic evenly across your network, reducing both CAPEX and OPEX. Learn more about this in the technical NSP telemetry-based optimization presentation that is available following this. Further automation is possible through the Network Functions Interconnect Architecture, or NFIX. This is an open, standards-based evolution of seamless MPLS, allowing end-to-end -end service provisioning with SLAs using segment routing across multiple domains with varying underlying transport mechanisms. You can extend services across a flat segment routing path that uses a combination of flex algo segments, SRTE segments, and VXLAN segments. The NSP PCE gives you flexibility in path control with optical integration, with service fulfillment, with assurance, with telemetry on an integrated platform extending connectivity from the data center to the cell site. Thank you.